So I'm really excited to actually be able to start going to in-person events again. We took almost a three month break at this point since the last time that we've gone to an event, which was much needed, but also it kind of feels like we're ready to get back out there. I'm a little nervous to see what events will be like in the spring and summer since I know for a lot of people candles are more of like a winter and fall thing, so we'll see. It's at the same location and hosted by the same company of an event that we did last fall that we really liked so I'm excited to be able to do that again and just talk to people and debut our spring and summer collection that we've been working on and our new display that I almost forgot. We've spent so much time working on a new concept for displaying our candles and so I'm really excited to actually put that all together, see what it looks like when it's all set up and just kind of see how people respond to it and whether or not that helps us get more people into our booth to smell our candles. So in addition to all of the design changes that we've made to our market, I'm also really excited to um, have our cute little scent palette cleansers available. So these are just a cute little jar of coffee beans. This one's wrapped in saran wrap, ready to ready to go to our event on Saturday. But I'm really excited to see how our customers react to this and if it helps them to be able to smell more of our candles. We have gotten quite a bit of feedback from customers that something like this would be helpful because they want to be able to smell all of the candles, but at a certain point, you kind of go nose blind and everything starts to smell the same. And so, yeah, I'm excited to have this. I think it'll be good that we're like taking that information, that feedback we've gotten and actually applying it. And this is our first chance to do that. Since we've spent the last three months working on a brand new collection, our spring and summer collection and our brand new market setup, I'm excited to see how those fare for our customers and I'm excited to see just get back out there and really just have more attempts at trying to bring people in and try to create the best experience possible for people to come in and smell our candles and just enjoy the scent whether they take home a candle or not. I'm also excited to keep developing these market vlogs. Haven't gotten enough of them edited and out. We do have a few in the backlog still. but. I'm hoping to expand the market vlogs and make them a more robust experience showing more of what we're doing for the entire market. I'm also really excited to see how spring and summer fare in comparison to the fall and winter that we've already had and how our business fares with more scents and more options for customers to kind of get their noses into and see how they enjoy them. Speaking of our spring and summer collection, by the time you're seeing this video, it's probably out. So go ahead and check the website and see all of our beautiful new scents. <laughs> mixed thoughts about the Bloomington event. We were obviously very excited to test our new setup, but also I'm an anxious person and I was very anxious about how long it would take. And when we got there, the differentiation for where the booths were supposed to be for each person was not particularly clear and potentially had been moved by someone prior to us getting there. I, long story short, we didn't know where we were supposed to set up and somebody else 
was maybe in the spot we were supposed to be in because there I anyway we didn't figure out where we were supposed to be until quite a ways into when we arrived so it was probably a good 20 to 30 minutes after we got there and we're like thinking that we kind of knew where our booth was and then we had to be moved so that was a little stressful for me not so much for Spencer but for me I was very stressed out by that but it ended up being fine and we got everything set up uh, before our customers came in. We weren't totally sure what to expect since this is the first time we've done an event at this time of year and we were kind of told by other candle makers that spring is a very slow time of year for sales. But I was still a little optimistic. It's a slow time of year for candle sales. We had a few people that like came in and smelled our candles, but based on the number of people that we saw there, our sales were definitely a lot lower than we maybe would have expected from previous events that we had gone to. It was kind of fun though because there were a couple of other candle vendors there and I actually had the opportunity to go chat with one of them and check out the cool dessert candles that she had and so that was kind of a nice way to make up for feeling kind of sad that we weren't getting very many sales. We made a candle friend. My thoughts were I was feeling a little hectic beforehand just to see how everything would go. We really packed up the car and and so we were really worried about getting everything in, but we did manage to get everything in with everything, quite a few things on Amanda's lap in the passenger seat. So kind of a struggle, but we'll fine tune things and hopefully get things fitting in there more efficiently. But it's pretty much at capacity at this point. Yeah, we're pushing my little car to her limits. <laughs> it was also nice to set up our new setup for the first time and kind of show customers visually what what our scents kind of smelt like and have some more color in our setup as well. So that was nice to kind of get that changed up. We got a few compliments on that. So I think it's definitely a positive change. And now we're just looking to translate that into actual sales. As far as the event itself, it was really nice to go back to a same location that we've already been to and work with the same coordinator as we worked with before. To, so it was nice to have a little bit more familiarity with the event itself. As far as sales itself, not where we want to be necessarily, but it was really nice to see a couple people that we saw at our Fall Bloomington event, which you can see that video, we'll plug that. And it was nice to see them again and get their thoughts and provide them with another candle. So that was really exciting to kind of get a repeat in-person customer. As far as the display goes, it was really nice to have a, a lot more color and a lot more visual appeal to our display, but there are a few changes that we're still looking to make. Additionally, this was the first event that we debuted our scent palette cleansers that Amanda made, and that was used a couple times, I think. So that was definitely nice to have. It's something that we have heard from multiple people at different events that they felt like they would benefit from. So we implemented that, and we're looking forward to having that at future events for people. So my favorite part of the event though was that we had um, kind of an elderly woman who was the mother of some other vendor at the event and had come there to, as she told us, people watch. She came over and wanted to buy some candles from us and it was just a really sweet interaction to help her pick out some candles and also the first and only time that I have ever heard somebody ask what candle they should get for someone based on their age of 30 to 40 years. I didn't know what to do with that, but we figured it out and she was very sweet. And it was just a really nice touching experience to be able to actually help somebody out with picking out some gifts for their adult children. So we debuted our spring and summer collection at this event and it was really interesting to see people's reactions to those scents. In particular, we had this guy come over who really liked the scent of our New Beginnings candle and he thought it smelled a lot like earth and being outside in the woods, which is exactly, you know, that's, that is the fragrance notes. But he said that it made him want to go hunting and I don't know that that was the intention, but it was kind of interesting and a little funny nonetheless. <laughs> 